Welcome to our usual hovers. I'm Economicon, and today I can play for the game Under the Murder Tree, where Elliot is now in custody, with dead eyes of someone unable to feel remorse for his actions, and we have five minutes to break him and make him talk. They say that when you feel a shiver down your spine, somebody is walking on your future grave. Isn't that funny, officer? I'm still giving you the shivers. I can't deny that. He's been like this since he walked in, perfectly still, even without any restraint. Shoulders hunched towards me and barely blinking. I've seen dozens just like him, the dead eyes of someone incapable of feeling remorse for his actions. He has been in custody for four hours already, and I have only five minutes to break him and make him talk. Wait, we said he walked in here, right? So, didn't he already confess to a crime? Let me remind you why you're here. My colleagues deciphered your zodiac-like letters you sent us, daring us to find you, and you got arrested. You got what you wanted, Elliot. Now tell me where you buried him. He is still alive, but that won't be for long. <laughs> You're right, officer. Air doesn't last long in the sealed coffin. However, in five minutes, it won't matter. And don't worry, the bee had it coming. Okay, so I think you're just saying where to be bury him isn't gonna get us anywhere. So what do you mean? I've never been good at socializing, you know, ever since I can remember. People avoided me because I'm different. I spend more time reading under the dead hemlock tree alone than being with other people. Is that where the body is then, Elliot? Under the dead hemlock tree? The murder tree? I feel like that should be the first place we looked, if it's quite literally titled the murder tree. That one? But the birds, they make me feel at ease. Have you ever held a bird in your hands, officer? Nope, not a massive fan of birds. Did you happen to kill it? Oh, you're a good person. I love birds. I swore to protect them from harm, because nobody else will. The world is already cruel as it is. By now, I've memorized all their songs. I've seen some hatch and cried with joy. I've seen birds take flight for the first time. I even had ducklings follow me as if I was their mama. I think we should let him carry on talking. My favorites, ravens. Those gentle, frail creatures live in a world where they're shunned because they're weird and scary. I feel akin to them. You know, you seem to have more empathy for birds than you do people. And, you know, they're considered as bad omens. Yeah, pretty much. I built a home for them, and Avery. Then why did you do it? Stop wasting time. You see... When I was coming back home, I heard gunshots, like ones from hunters. And then my poor creatures, all laying on the floor in a gush of blood. The eggs smashed, broken black feathers everywhere. I cried, officer. Stop right there. Now that the motive is clear. I wonder which approach should I use? What if we're trying to get her to confess? Empathize, sympathize with the dead birds. What you've done is undoubtedly wrong, but I can't say I don't get it. Yeah, that must have been horrible, Elliot. You know, you're a good guy. By confessing, you'll have a clear conscience. No! I don't care if he dies. I want him to suffer in fear just like my poor creatures did. If he gets out of here, he'll feel like a new man for sure. Let's talk about what we found in your room. It was filled with journals about past death rituals. Ooh, weighing of the heart. Oh, did you like it? It was an ancient Egyptian belief. When a person died, the heart was weighed against the feather of a mate, the goddess of truth and justice. If the heart was heavier, well... Elliot starts giggling, giving a weird, satisfied smirk. It looks more like punishment, and he's delighted by that. 
His victim wouldn't pass the judgment. No, would he? We're about the Tower of Silence. Ever heard of them? The Zoroastrian, many years ago. They built them for excavation. They didn't want to take the earth with the corpses, so they left them to the carrion birds. It was a way to get back to nature. I know what he's thinking about. His victim must be damaging the earth by living. Or the sky burial. Or should I say, giving arms to the birds. It's a generous practice for the East Asia. There's a variant where you put the body in a hollow tree trunk and wait for the birds. A hollow tree trunk? Definitely more practical than a coffin. Did he use a burial tree or... We know where he is. The man is buried under the... Murder tree. Well, it's gotta be, right? The murder tree! I quickly made a call for reinforcements. While Elliot was looking at me with a blank, motionless stare of contempt, I received confirmation that he found the burial site. But why did we not go check there first before we even interrogated him? I mean, it's quite literally called the murder tree. Even if we were wrong, I think it was worth checking out. My intuition was right. He wanted to be the victim to the ravens. You're going to prison. Do you understand? Loud and clear, officer. Allow me just this. I have one request. A favor, if you want to put it that way. What is it? I was expecting to hear something deranged come out of his mouth, but he gently reached for the bag I confiscated earlier. I froze for a moment, fearing he was going to threaten me with a weapon as a last resort. You see, and this? This is why you don't leave items with potential killers. He could have anything in that bag. And then Elliot hands me a tiny little egg in a box. I won't be able to hatch it now. It's the only survivor from the nest, officer. And as you can imagine, it's been with me since I can't trust anyone. Please take care of it for me. Promise me you'll teach it to fly and everything will be all right. Would you like to give it a name? Um, sure, I'll call it Elliot, why not? I shall name it after you, Elliot. Well, I'll call it Elliot. Elliot, please take good care of it. And thank you. What would happen if we tripped and dropped it just now? Do you think he'd actually try and murder us? Ending, little Elliot. Alright, well let's be more direct. We're clearly gonna get this guy killed this time. Where did you bury him? What's the rush, officer? If you're patient enough, I might give you a hint. So, why don't we have a nice little chat first? I've never been good at socializing, you know, ever since I can remember. People avoided me because I'm different. Yes, I've had a bird in my hands. You're a good person. Hey now, don't deflect. I don't need to know about the docklings. But this is important, officer. You'll see in a moment. As I was saying, birds are my only solace. My favorite, ravens. I understand they killed your birds, but it doesn't mean you can still kill people. Do you think this justifies burying a man alive? I don't care if he dies. I want him to suffer in fear, just like my poor creatures did. Well, we are definitely too late to save him this time. Uh-huh. Too little, too late. Don't worry, officer. It's not your fault. He brought this upon himself when he attacked the ravens. They're messengers of death, after all. Ending. Messengers of death. Well, I'm afraid you're still going to go to prison, even if we can't find the body. Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Under the Murder Tree. I feel like they should annually check Under the Murder Tree. I mean, if it's got the name for a reason, right? Just vaguely check for bodies so everyone's safe. If you enjoyed that playthrough, I'd greatly appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, you spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.